Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome, Skycrack here from Browser Games and we're gonna do some Space Engineers update today. Now I'm gonna go through a couple of the latest patch updated notes and uh, just give the skip highlights of the best things that I think have come out of the last three or four updates because um, it's been a while. So basically what the best thing that they can bring out at the moment is their own cryo chamber, which I think is a really neat thing because uh, this isn't a mod or anything else. I do apologize for the lag there. Now, this cryo chamber, I think, is more like a bed sleeping area type thing that you can use for um, preserving your oxygen and uh, power usage consumption, which I think is a really neat feature, especially in these days where beds, modded beds, aren't all that um, reliable at the moment so definitely a nice thing for the moment now also it doesn't take up all that space so if you're putting these on ships to for sleeping it would really help a lot now that was a couple of updates ago so now it's the latest update that came out now say you want to upgrade your assembler refineries production or the efficiency power efficiency or you know just that kind of randomness that makes it better now you can now just like in star drive 2 where you can add modules to your ships now you can do it the same with your refinery you can add a productivity module which basically increases your productivity of refinery or the assembler a power efficiency module which in which i think either makes the efficiency of the power consumption better or something in that degree line of degree and uh, the effectiveness module in just increases the effective um, building rate or refining rate that your refinery and assembler has at that time, you know, vanilla and all. So let me show you guys where these modules go up. Now, over here, as you can see, the, they have now put on these two small points on the side. Now, these, if I put, put alongside the modules, have adjacent connecting points. Now, each one module takes up two points, so you can either put them horizontally or vertically, whichever you prefer. But uh, be advised that the assembler only has one slot, while the refinery has, if you use it correctly, four. So uh, that is definitely an interesting thing that uh, I think if you're doing survival servers where you're empire which does m mainly production and building sh a lot of big ships and they need the refining and assembler capabilities then this will definitely give those servers a big boost and uh, help out for any lagginess or glitchiness to get any mods up there so definitely a really nice update for that now uh, before i log off here i would l also like to say thank you guys so much for your support and uh your contribution for watching my videos and i do apologize for not having a lot of content over the past couple of weeks the reason for that is i have had over 19,000 viruses on my computer uh, of late so um, i had to eradicate that infestation and it was wasn't easy but um I'm trying to get all my files back. A lot of them have been corrupted or deleted, hence uh, because of viruses and stuff like that. But um, I do uh, apologize and I ask for your patience. Uh, I am trying to get all of these saved files and stuff like that back and try to cobble everything back together with duct tape and stuff like that. So, uh, But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is basically all I can record at the moment. So uh, I do apologize for not having any Star Wars or Star Drive at the moment. But uh, I do hope that normal recording sessions will resume within the week. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe down below to stay in tune for all my videos and uh, for all my virus infested videos. But uh, if you like this video, definitely click up the thumbs up button and subscribe. Your support really does mean the world to me. And thank you guys so much. Hope to see you next time. Take care and goodbye.